Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Coal Run Church of Christ. We're glad that you are here tonight to uh, enjoy the Christmas program. The kids have been working on for two or three months now, a tree lot Christmas. And we appreciate uh, our children and their parents and grandparents and all who have uh, worked together, certainly our directors who have worked hard to uh, prepare this program. Uh, we have a lot of special things going on in December. It seems like uh, throughout the month there are uh, Christmas shows to, to watch, to be in. There's parties to attend and a lot of things to bring us together. And we're together to celebrate Jesus Christ. His birth is coming to the earth. But it's interesting in the Bible, we were never commanded anywhere in the Bible to celebrate or remember his birth. It's not wrong to do it but we're not commanded to do it. We are commanded to remember his death. And so we know that the church uh, celebrates the resurrection of Christ every Sunday. That's why we meet on Sunday in celebration of the risen Lord because it was the first day of the week. Early on Sunday morning, he came out of the grave for us. But before uh, he rose, certainly he died on the cross and he did tell us to remember his death. And so we have the Lord's Supper uh, every Sunday as uh, uh, the church did in the very beginning. They came together on the first day of the week to break bread. You might be uh, here tonight and we're not able to be here in the morning service. So the Lord's Table is prepared here at the front. And we're going to sing one verse of O Come All You Faithful. And if you desire to partake of the Lord's Supper at this time, you're encouraged to come to the front and be seated here. And the man will be glad to serve you the Lord's Supper. In your hymn book, it's number 249. Most of you know the words, To O Come, All Ye Faithful.
going to sing the last verse of O Come All You Faithful, and then we will receive our offering. Okay. Yay, Lord, we greet thee, born this happy morning, Jesus, to thee be the glory given. Word of the Father, now in flesh appearing, O oh, come, let us adore him, O oh, come, let us adore him, O oh, come, let us adore him, Christ the Okay, I think we're ready. A tree lot Christmas under the direction of Stephanie Greenhill and Christy Thompson. the week before Christmas and all through the town. Last minute shoppers were running around. But things were too quiet at Carmichael's store. He was grumpy and greedy for he wanted more. So come by a tree. for sale. Remember, every penny we make will buy presents for our special friends.
Hey. Merry Hi. Christmas. Hi, Jacob. Merry Christmas. Any, any idea how many families you're expecting tonight? I have no idea, but I do know that we need to buy 10 more gifts for the children. Did you bring us a few more trees for us to sell? Just a couple more. Lucas, could you give me a ha hand? Sure do. This tree's a beauty. She's gonna light up someone's living room real nice. Oh my, that tree is gorgeous. It's perfect, don't you think, Coco? I think it would be just stunning in my foyer. I'm sure it will. What a cute puppy. That'll be $25, ma'am. Here's 30. Keep the change, dear. Thank you, and Merry Christmas. And Jacob, thank you and your family for donating all these trees for us to sell. You're welcome. Dad hit, said he's happy he can help out. I mean, what a great cause to share the Christmas message tonight and bless those among us who are less fortunate. We wouldn't think of taking any money. Hey, Mr. Carmichael, thank you for donating. Go on. I said you could use my lot to sell your tree. Then you can purchase all your gifts from me tonight. No need to go anywhere else. Thank, thank you. you. Mr. Carmichael, have you picked out a Christmas tree yet? No, no, I don't need Well, then pick one out, no charge. Why, yes, it's our way. Huh? Huh? It's our way. It's our way up. Huh? God bless you. Thank you, Jacob. Anyway, Mr. Carmichael, it's our way of saying thank you for donating. The Lord. Just my lot, and no thanks for the tree. Christmas, tree remi Christmas trees remind me of family trees. What's the matter with that? It doesn't matter. It's just the main out, and it's perfect, a family of one. ha choo Gesund dot. Thank you, Jacob. I mean, Jacob Shun, Jacob. If you've got a cold, young lady, keep your distance. This is no time for me to get sick. Cha-ching, cha-ching, <coughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> Oh, that reminds me. Dad said to tell you the whole family is coming tonight for the pageant. Every member of the Jesse household will be there. My mom's coming tonight. She missed my school program because she had to work. But she's, but she's, but she's coming tonight. She's going to be so surprised when she finds out I'm married. And Mr. Carmichael, will you be coming to her pageant? Oh, please come. I'm married. What? No, no. I will be too busy at the store. Money doesn't grow on trees, kids. I've got to get back to the store. That's so sad. Mr. Carmichael doesn't want a Christmas tree. And he doesn't have a family. Who, Who doesn't, doesn't have, have a family? family? It's too bad he's not coming tonight. He could hear how he could be a God's family. Yes, that's the good news of Christmas, because we can all be a part of the family of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Every day I love you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, that my name's been added to your family tree. I'm a part of God's great big family.
I scored. I saw two more trees. And I got a large chip up there. I saw me with the tree up in one hand. <laughs> oh my, with this money, we have enough to make three little girls very happy. I need an Elsa doll, an Elsa costume, and an Elsa backpack. I'll get those four. Oh, Elsa's my favorite. Enough of the song, girls. Let it go, please. I'll go get those for you. Give me the money. Let it go. Ha <laughs> choo! Excuse me. Yes, Lavendia. Gracias, Jacob. Here's the money, Mr. Carmichael. This should be enough. Good thing I've got tons of hand sanitizer in this store. <laughs> I really hope we sell enough trees to get all those gifts. Oh, I forgot about the bake sale. How's that going, girls? It's going great. We've got gluten free, fat free, sugar free, and peanut free. Sounds flavor free to me. <laughs> No charge. Hey, is this that pay it forward thing? Yes, it is. I want to do that too. Here. Well, thank you and Merry Christmas. some merchandise. I've made a fortune off that movie. Thank you, Mickey. <laughs> Mr. Carmichael, you've been working so hard. Aren't you kind of hungry? How about sweet yummy treats? Anything else you want to buy from me? Yes. D.O.T. Benedica. Grazie. Thank you, Jacob. I 
I scored some more. Here's a cashew roof. And Abigail, have you ever thought you're allergic to evergreens? I'm beginning to think so. Anyway, Mr. Carmichael, we sold three more trees. So could you get us a soccer ball, football, and a baseball? Money, please. Mr. Carmichael, you, you look so hungry. Don't you think you need to eat? No, I only eat gluten, sugar, and fat-free food. Perfect. You can have the fruit cake. <laughs> How much for the fruit cake? Oh, it's already paid for. What? It's a gift, Mr. Carmichael. Don't you get it? Somebody paid it for me. Well, that's just ludicrous, people. Money doesn't grow on trees, kids. Here you go. Here's your gluten, sugar, fat-free fruit cake. Enjoy, Mr. Carmichael. Are you sure? Are you sure you don't want to come to the, come tonight? She's marrying the manger pageant. No, 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 no. Thank you. The manger scene shows up every Christmas. I can't make any money off that. I'll get your toys. Thank you and Merry Christmas. I'm going back to the store, but to be politically correct. Young lady, it's happy holidays. We don't want to offend our customers or they won't buy from us. Offend the customers, but what about offending God? I guess he doesn't know Christmas is all about Jesus and his birth in the manger. We've got to keep Christ in Christmas. After all, we're celebrating his birthday. Two more trees. Two, two more cars. Glad I got, brought my guns, Smith and Wesson. <laughs> we still need to buy a few more gifts for tonight. How much money did we make at the bake sale, Gwen? $32. Oh, good. Now we can get the pig tricycle and the Legos. Lucas, would you run in and tell Mr. Carmichael? Sure, Legos and a tricycle. A pink tricycle. Pink? I'm not carrying around a pink tricycle. Pardon me, uh, could you assist me, please? <coughs> I'm Sheriff, what do you need? Uh, do you have any uh, Douglas or Hemlock burrs? Sure, I'll load some this morning. Walk this way. Walk this way, okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
answer that one. My family has been growing evergreens for three generations. First of all, evergreens are the only trees that stay green all year. It reminds me of the everlasting life we can have in Jesus. And the tree, and the tree points up to heaven. That's why we put a star on top. And if you decorate a Jesse tree like my family does, you can hang ornaments on the, on the that remind you of the events in the Bible from creation to Christ's birth. Oh, and one more thing, I almost forgot. We hang our Jesse tree upside down. What? what? Why would you, upside down, why would you do that? Because it points down. Jesus came to earth for us. My dad always says our Christmas gift from God was an under, under a tree, but on a tree. I just thought of something. Jesus paid it forward for us. I like that. Yes, Jesus did pay it forward for us. Hey, I know a song about Christmas trees. We know that one, too. Oh, oh Christmas, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. Oh, I can top that. Hit it, boys.
child do I go play Mary? Your mother just called on my private cell phone. She did? She's come to see me, B. Well, she's going to be late. Something down at City Hall needed her attention. What? I don't take messages. Not again. I'm sure she'll make it. Ha too. I was sweet, Abigail. Thank you. I mean, mercy, Jacob. Carly, if your mother doesn't make it, I'm sure Mr. Carmichael could videotape it for you. What? I never agreed to do that. I'll be selling in the store. You know what I always say. Money doesn't grow on trees. Ha choo! I don't think you're allergic to evergreens. So I think you're allergic to Mr. Evergreedy. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Carmichael, can I ask you a question? You have on a, you have on a very unusual cologne. What is it called? Oh, you like? I've worn it for years. It's called Moolah Amore. Ha choo! Well, there it is, Moolah Amore. Ha choo! Any more toys? Yes, we have just enough for the Ken and Barbie doll deluxe Christmas cottage and the Hot Wheels race car. And we're done. Every child is getting a gift. Yay! Yay. Money, please. <coughs> Thank you. We need to finish shopping up these presents. Addison, will you help me? Sure. I can't wait to see the children's faces when they get their gifts tonight. It feels so good to give, doesn't it? Yes, it does. And when I think how God gave us his only son, it makes me want to give all I can in Jesus' name. You paid it forward Cause you were looking forward To spending all eternity with me Yes, Lord, you paid it forward Cause you were looking forward To loving others just like to love me
right, everybody, it's almost time for the pageant. And here comes our special friends. And the boys. <laughs> Is there Mr. Carmichael here? That would be me. What's this all about? I'm here. I'm here from City Hall and I'm shutting you down. What? 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 <coughs> Sir, you cannot use this area without a proper permit and I'm afraid you do not have one. What? I've never heard of such a thing before. I'm sorry, pack it up, kids. No! no. You heard me. Mommy, you made it, and now there's no pageant. Oh, no. I would have been here sooner, but while I was at work today, I heard that they were going to shut you down, Mr. Carmichael. They can't do, they can't close me down the week, this, the week before Christmas. I have my orders. Now, wait a minute. Look, I've got your permit. I pulled some strings, and... Here you go. You're back in business. I'll be the judge of that. Hmm. Well, it's clear. You're back in business, Mr. Carmichael. Yay! Yay! Mommy, you paid it forward for Mr. Carmichael. Why, yes, you did. Why would you do something like that for me? <coughs> because that's what Jesus did for us. Loving, like, loving others like Jesus loved us is what Christmas is all about. Mr. Carmichael, did I mention I was playing Mary in the pageant? You are. Yes, Mama. Oh, I gotta run. Wardrobe.
snowbar, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and they were afraid. Fear not, the angel said to them, for I bring you good news and great cheer for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born. He is Christ the Lord. Now that was <laughs> Now that was how do you say very moving. I'd like to know more about this baby. Well, he's not a baby anymore. He's the savior of the world and the lord of all. Yes, I'd like to know more. It's simple. God's only son, Jesus paid for our sins with his very life. We just had to accept that gift. And you, and then you can get to be a part of family God too, Mr. Carmichael. You might want that Christmas tree after all, dude. It's a free gift. <laughs> Why, yes, I believe I would. And to show my appreciation to all of you, my new family, go and pick out a gift on me. Really? really? Yes. yes!
Okay, thank you, young people. That was outstanding. A big thank you to Stephanie and Christy and uh, all you parents, grandparents, everybody who helped put on this program by having your kids here for the rehearsals, helping them at home learn their lines, learn their songs, and they did a great job. And uh, I'm so glad that Mr. Carmichael had a change of heart and decided he wouldn't be a, a Grinch at Christmas time and became a very generous person. So it looked like you gave out some pretty good gifts there, Mr. Carmichael. Yeah. So how about, uh, uh, let's all stand again. Let's sing a song. Let's sing Joy to the World. And then uh, we're going to have prayer. We're going to have um, our hope ministry tomorrow. We'll be giving food out to about 110 families, maybe more. But uh, they'll be here early in the morning. And uh, we've got the, the food boxes and bags already made up downstairs but we got a lot of empty boxes that need to be hauled down to the garden and burned so if you got a pickup truck and just sweep, swing it around here to the back we'll load the pickup truck and get rid of those boxes everybody else can go over here in the fellowship hall because we got refreshments for everybody and you'll have a chance to visit with these young people and tell them what a great job they did but let's sing one verse of joy to the world the Lord is come Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. Heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing. Let's pray. Thank you, God, for this uh, opportunity this evening to be here and to witness this program these children have worked hard on and they have done a wonderful job presenting the theme of Christmas, the, the giving theme and the life changing theme of Christmas because Jesus came, our life is changed, our life is better our life is eternal uh, will outlast any evergreen tree you ever place on this earth we will live forever and ever with you in heaven because of what Jesus did for us on the original Christmas tree, which was a cross, where he suffered and died for us. So we thank you that he came. We praise you, Lord, for his death, burial, and resurrection, for the new life that he gave to us. I thank you for these children, for their parents and grandparents, all their family members that are here uh, tonight to witness their faith. And I thank you, God, that you have used them to bring a testimony to us. Out of the mouths of babes, you have perfected praise. You have brought us uh, into your presence here tonight with rejoicing and with singing and with clapping and with, with being happy about what Jesus has done for us. I, I know he loves these children and these children love the Lord and I thank you God for that. And help us all to grow in grace and knowledge and in faithfulness and in service to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Help us to be lovers like he loved. Help us to be givers like he gave. And help us to, to share and to serve in a lot of different ways that you provide for us in life um, every day, every week. May your blessings be on the refreshments that have been prepared and brought into the building. Uh, may your blessings be on our fellowship and on our rejoicing in Jesus. And go with us, Lord, till we meet again. We pray in Christ's name. Amen. Good job, you guys.